Hey team, welcome back to my channel. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Go to Repositories, go to SQL Server Examples. In this folder, Hacker Ring Lithander, this is where you can find the source code to this project. Hacker Ring defines the four columns necessary for wands. Go to SQL Server and type in the wands create table command and load in all the appropriate data. The second and last table, wands property, go to SQL Server, type in the create table command and insert the five rows of data. Using the sample data we just defined and the SQL statement we are about to write, this is the output to the problem. So I'm ready to solve this problem now and the goal is to find the cheapest wands that are not evil. So we know we have the wands table and the wands property. Now from the wands table, I can get the power and I can get the coins needed. And then I'm at the join these two tables and I'm going to join that using the code column. And I want to make sure that it's not evil. So I want that to be false or, or zero. So let, let's begin. So our first statement, we're going to say uh, select and then from. And my main table is that wand. So I'm gonna say wands and I'm gonna give that an alias of W. Now I know that I need to join these two and I'm gonna join that through the code column. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna say join wands property and I'm gonna call that WP as an alias. And then on WP.code equals W.code. So those guys are joined up, right? Now, the last thing that we know is uh, we want this is evil set to false or, or zero. So I'm going to say where WP dot is evil uh, zero. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Now, what columns do we want here? Well, I said I want power and coins needed. So that's going to come from W. So I'm going to say uh, W dot power. Now, unfortunately, power is a reserve word. So I'm going to put brackets around that. And then I'm going to say uh, this coins needed. Now, to get coins needed, I'm going to want to do an aggregate function to get the smallest. Now, we have a function called min. So I'm going to say min. And what am I going to use? I'm going to use w.coins needed. And OK, cool. And now we want to get that last little parameter uh, from this table, the age. So let's leave that aggregate at the end because I got to do a group by. So I'm going to say uh, uh, wp.age. That makes sense. Now, because I've used an aggregate function, all aggregate functions need a group by. So I'm going to say group by. And when we got an aggregate function, we take all of the fields up to the aggregate function and add that to the group by. And that there's our statement. Now I can execute this and this right here should execute. And let's see what we got here. We got 11 rows. All right, perfect. So very nice. Now what I wanted this to do, because this is kind of like two parts, I want this to become like a temporary table. And the easiest way I know how to do that is to use what's known as a CTE. So I can say with, and then what is the name of my CTE? I'm going to call it a min coin CTE. Now my CTE is going to return three columns, that power. Now I don't want to call it that reserve word. So I'm going to take out that E and then age and then my min coins. That's my return value. Then we say as and then open. Now that our CTE is done, let's add a little tester, select star from our CTE, and we should get some results. And notice we got back 11 rows. So that's gonna behave correctly. Now let's finish this solution. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say select. Now I'm gonna join all the tables. So I'm gonna say from wands, I'm going to alias that as W. And we know that we have that other table, wands property. Let's go ahead and join that up. So we say join wands property. 
and we'll alias that as WP. And we know that we can pretty much do this same join here. So let's just copy that down. And we have one other item now that we can join with is a join our CTE. And how do we join that? So CTE on. Now it's going to begin with uh, W dot power equals the CTE dot, I spelled it a little differently, power. And then and the uh, WP dot age equals the CTE dot age. And the W dot coins needed equals the CTE dot coins min coins. Now that joins those together. Let's uh, make this uh, presentable. And now we're going to say that where WP dot is evil is zero or false. And we're going to say um, order by. So what are we going to get out of here? Well, we're going to get a couple of things. We're going to get the ID. So we got to say W dot ID and then WP dot age and then w dot coins needed, and then the power. I'm gonna put brackets around that because it's reserved. And then we can finish up this order by, and we're gonna order by the power. So uh, w dot power, and we're gonna make that descending. And then wp dot age will also be descending and semicolon. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and execute this. And then let's compare this output with the results that we had just a moment ago. As you can see, our output from our SQL statement equals the sample output. This is what we were trying to generate. 945, 1217, you can see that here, all the way down to 545, 1440. And this right here is the power. So we wanted the fewest coins for the most power. That's what we were able to get. Let's change the database to Microsoft SQL Server and then paste our code into the window. We'll then press the Run Code button. Give it a second. Success. You did it. The problem has been solved. If you've learned anything from this video and think this video deserves a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Remember, comments help everyone. Look forward to seeing you back in my next video. Take care.